Lincoln's popularity has caused the term town car to become almost synonymous with Lincoln. But the truth is, there have been town cars before the Lincoln version. In fact, the first town car was actually a limousine created in the 1920s. Today, we take our viewers for a ride through the years 1981 through 2011. This is the story of the Lincoln Town Car. Ford actually began using the name Town Car in its Continental lineup with the addition of two formal sedans known as the Town Car and Limousine. This took place through the 70s, but we're going to start through the first generation Lincoln Town Car, which was released in 1981. For 1981, the Continental name was replaced and a new town car name was used for the non-Mark Lincolns. The lineup was also simplified with the elimination of the slow-selling Versailles model. The sole engine was the 302 V8 with fuel injection, and styling was virtually identical to the 1980s cars with only minor changes. The new town car retained the prior Continental's exposed oblong dual headlamps and optional digital trip computer display, and added a new keypad entry system. Lincoln's formal upright grille was naturally retained. These cars were unshamedly aimed straight at mature customers with money in the bank. In 1982, Lincoln adopted the Mark Series tradition of Designer Series editions as the Cartier edition was shifted from the Mark VI to the Town Car. Becoming the top trim level, the Cartier edition would remain part of the Town Car line through 2003. The black Cadillac, please. Right away, sir. Excuse me. I believe that's my Buick. <laughs> yes, so, so it is. Today, it's not easy to distinguish yourself from the crowd. Is this my Cadillac? No, it's an Oldsmobile. I think. Yeah. This is the Buick. No, 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 no. This, uh, this is the Buick. No, no. This is the Cadillac. The Lincoln Town Car, please. Yes, sir. At the time, Lincoln marketed the larger size of the town car as a selling point. Lincoln introduced a series of advertisements in late 1985 titled The Valet. As part of the 1985 update, the Lincoln Town Car was the first Ford vehicle to feature a CD player as an option. As part of a 12-speaker JBL premium stereo system, for 1986, to meet federal regulations, a center brake light was added in the rear window. The front seat head restraints were replaced with a taller four-way articulating design. Walnut burl trim replaced much of the satin black trim on the lower dash. Here's how you can improve a Cadillac DeVille in three easy steps. First, make it longer and give it a 5-liter V8. Second, make it wider to give it more shoulder and hip room. Third, give it a bigger trunk for more luggage space. When you're all through, what you have is the Lincoln Town Car. 1989 models are distinguished by special trim features including satin black paint for grill blades, trim between headlights, and amber instead of clear front parking lamps. The Lincoln front end badging is moved from above the left headlight onto the grill and changed to a large sans serif script. In the rear, the brushed metal panel was given a pinstripe finish and all badging was moved from the panel onto the trunk lid. All models feature a Landau roof with a smaller, more formal Frenched rear window. All non-Cartier models also include a embedded Lincoln star emblem in their opera windows. The interior of the Lincoln Town Car featured many advanced luxury options for its time. Signature Series Cartier models featured six-way power seats and manual seatback recliners for the driver and front passenger. Several electronic features included an optional digital display trip computer showing the driver miles to empty and based on driver input and estimated time of arrival. Not since everybody liked Ike. Not since a real Rocky became champ. Not since 1952 has a luxury sedan been named Motor Trend's Car of the Year. Introducing the new V8-powered Lincoln Town Car. The After 10 years on the market, the Lincoln Town Car was given an extensive redesign inside and out. 
launched on October 5th, 1989 as a 1990 model. In a move to bring a new generation of buyers to the Lincoln brand, the town car adopted a far more contemporary image, bringing it in line with the Continental and Mark 7. In addition, the town car adopted a new range of safety and luxury features and would mark the debut of a powertrain that would see usage in a wide variety of Ford Motor Company vehicles. Hey, really quick, we are giving away Boker Brothers YouTube t-shirts. That's right. Uh, how do you win? Well, you have to be a subscriber to our channel. It's as simple as that. We will have weekly drawings of about three to four t-shirts per week. Let's do the first one here. It's going out to Specialty Automotive. Let's do a drawing for the next, uh, let's see here, Danny. Speed Friend. Speed Friend is the next um, winner of our Boca Brothers t-shirt and let's do one more Danny. All right, it's going out to 89 yellow C4, 89 yellow C4. Congratulations uh, for winning the uh, Boca Brothers YouTube channel t-shirts. We have more to give away every week. In its redesign for the 1990 model year, Lincoln Stylist sought a completely new design for the town car. Many traditional Lincoln styling cues were heavily reworked or abandoned completely. The flat-sided fenders and angular lines seen since the Continentals and Mark III's of the late 1960s disappeared. The 1990 town car still retained several styling influences, including its vertical taillights, radiator-style grille, hood ornament, aloe wheels, and vertical C pillar window. Although two-tone paint remained available, featuring a lower body accent color and gray metallic, monotone paint schemes would become increasingly standard. In a major change, a vinyl roof was no longer offered. It's difficult to say who has the smoothest drive, Jack Nicholas or Lincoln. But we do know that a fuel-efficient overhead cam V8 helps make today's Lincoln Town Car the smoothest driving ever. In late 1992, the exterior was given a minor update with a new grill and slightly redesigned tail lamp lenses distinguished by a checkerboard pattern for 1993 models. With the 1995 Lincoln Town Cars dual airbags, four-wheel anti-lock brakes, a completely new interior that seats six in luxurious comfort, and a powerful V8 engine that goes 100,000 miles before its first scheduled tune-up. As with the Crown Victoria and the Grand Marquis, the Town Car received a larger update for the 1995 model year in late 1994 as the FN116. This facelift is best distinguished by by the deletion of the fixed quarter glass in the rear doors along with the redesign of the side mirrors, enlarged and changed to body color, although the bumpers largely remained unchanged. The front fascia was updated as the headlamp clusters are changed to a clear lens design and separated from the grille. New for the 1995 model year was the integrated voice-activated in-car cellular telephone concealed in the center armrest, which featured a speakerphone as well as the rear-view mirror-mounted microphone for hands-free calling. The new Lincoln Town Car poses a dilemma for your accountant. The third generation of the Lincoln Town Car was unveiled at the 1997 New York International Auto Show. For the 1998 model year, all three Panther platform sedans underwent complete exterior and interior redesigns, with the Town Car given the most extensive revision, shifting away from the straight-lined design language used by full-size Lincoln sedans for over 35 years, the 1998 Town car adopted the rounded exterior of the Lincoln Mark 8 and the 1995 Lincoln Continental. This third generation town car was introduced nearly concurrently with the Lincoln Navigator, the first SUV sold by Lincoln. While three inches shorter than its 1997 predecessor, the 1998 town car gained two inches in width and an inch in height, becoming the tallest Lincoln sedan in 40 years. While the radiator grille was retained, its rectangular shape was changed to oval. Its waterfall pattern was adopted by the Lincoln Navigator introduced alongside it, and the hood ornament was deleted. 
Losing its opera window, the curved design scheme carried further to the rear of the town car into the trunk lid. To differentiate from its Mercury counterpart, the town car switched to individual tail lamps, deleting the filler panel of the trunk lid. A large chrome surround was used on the trunk lid to mount the license plate. In 2001, the Stretch Town Car L was introduced with a 6-inch stretch in its wheelbase. The Town Car became popular in livery and commercial services. In commercial service, the typical Lincoln Town Car saw a life expectancy of well over 400,000 miles. The Lincoln Town Car was also popular as a Stretch Limousine donor chassis. It was the most commonly used limousine and chauffeured car in the United States and Canada. For its 2003 redesign, the interior of the Lincoln Town Car saw extensive changes. To differentiate the Town Car from the Mercury Grand Marquis, the radio and climate controls were integrated into a single unit with an analog clock. The interior was given a model-specific wood trim bordered by a satin metal. The redesign included new Seats distinguished by taller head restraints. Alongside the Lincoln LS, the 2003 Town Car introduced a DVD based satellite navigation system. For 2004, the Soundmark standard stereo system is redesigned to offer dual media capability, AM, FM cassette, and CD. For the first time since 1996, the 2005 Town Car receives a new redesigned steering wheel. For 2006, the instrument panel was redesigned with the Town Car gaining a tachometer alongside its Ford and Mercury counterparts. As part of the 2008 shift in assembly plans to streamline production, Lincoln deleted or standardized many features of the town car, leaving only four remaining options, HID headlamps, white wall tires, polished 18-spoke wheels in place of the 10-spoke machine-finished wheels, and a trunk organizer. For 2008 through 2011, the Signature Limited became the sole trim available on the standard wheelbase town car along with the long wheelbase Signature L. The Executive Series remained in production for fleet and livery sales. The dual media cassette and CD player was replaced with a six-disc in-dash CD changer unit, and both the trunk and mounted CD changer and GPS navigation radio were discontinued, as was the THX certified premium audio system. On August 29, 2011, the final town car rolled off the assembly line without any fanfare or announcement from Ford. The St. Thomas assembly plant produced its final vehicle, a 2012 Crown Victoria for export on September 15, 2011. Hey, well, that pretty much wraps up this story on the Lincoln Town Car. We want to thank all those for watching and all those for subscribing to our channel. If you are not a subscriber to our channel, do so now for a chance to win a free t-shirt. We have uh, three or four drawings a week. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, leave us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications. Thanks for watching the Boca Brothers YouTube channel.